Evening out. Um, just arrived at Aysgill in the Yorkshire Dales. It's uh, the longest day uh, in summer. And so we're looking over there at Wild Boar Fell and Swarth Fell up there. But what we're planning on doing is going up there uh, towards Little Fell. Why they call it Little Fell, I don't know, because it isn't. But uh, that's where we're heading. And we're planning, whether today or tomorrow, to go along the ridge up to High Seat and pitch somewhere up there for a wild camp. Enjoy the ride. limestone and up there it'll be gritstone nice bit of water in there but uh, we'll see how we go and get up round up to Hellgill Bridge and then go from there up past that farm towards that tree single tree the swath fell in the background just in the bottom of these woods here uh, it's Hellgill Bridge. After the bridge you turn left and there's a cattle prod which uh, not really a footpath was a cattle prod. It's quite good going and I think up it'll go up here and uh, I'm not even sure I can't see a um, cane up there but anyway that's where we're headed I'll let you know how good the going is, but follow this fence so far. So I've come up from Hellgill there and uh, followed the quag bike track. Now you want to go to the left of all this light coloured stuff because it's a bit boggy. It's a ma mildly boggy there, but then uh, there's a bit of a quad track and uh, there's two cairns here. Hello Mr. Cody. We're at the top of Little Fell, 667 metres above sea level. That's Wild Boar Fell, that's Swarth Fell. That's Great Coombe, I camped on there a few weeks back. That's Wernside, there. Wernside, Great Coombe, Ingleborough. That is the summit of Little Fell, and it isn't little. And uh, well, the way I came up that quad bike track, once you get to the flattening out bit, it's all it's quite boggy. But anyhow, we did it. So what I'm going to try and do now is go along this ridge and over to uh, High Seat over there, and then look for a pitch. So, uh, right, we'll get on. I've come from Little Fell up there, down into this coal, and there's a cairn at the middle of the coal, and I followed the fence all the way around. It's quite hard going, a little bit boggy, but if you follow that fence, uh, you're gonna be coming up to this cairn. Uh, follow, it looks like there's a bit of a trod up there. Follow the fence up up to Gregory's Chapel, where that cairn is, and then on to uh, High Seat. That wasn't easy going, that. Um, it's 8 o'clock at night, it's something like that. What time is it? 11, 11 minutes past 8. And uh, we've got uh, about hour and 45 minutes till sunset. So we've come from Little Fell there, down into this coal and along here and I'll tell you what, that wasn't nice, it was all boggy and there was a tarn down there, I looked at it but wasn't wasn't fit for getting water out of really, uh, but we're getting there, I think that's the hard bit now, through that coal with all that bog.
uh, that one over there is Gregory's Chapel and that one behind it is High Seat Wow, I'm not making as good progress as I intended but uh, we're out the cairn on the cold between Pew Seats and uh, Gregory's Chapel so oh, knock the wind out of me that bog so I'm gonna try and at least get to there so I'll just pick my way through this either a dried up river bed or a tarn there's a cairn there another cairn here uh, there's a bit of a trod going towards that cairn and we're not uh, on schedule but we're all right we're on top of the ridge I can pitch anywhere uh, from the call at, uh, Hugh, between Hugh's seat and Gregory's chapel that path much much better hardcore uh, so I've made some good progress across there But uh, I'm still behind Anyway, we're not bad now Might even make it to a high seat before pitching time Well, this is Gregory's Chapel. <laughs> Been pressing on. <sighs> right. Carry on over there. I think that's a high seat. See how far we get. Oh, look at the light now. I'll get you up to the summit and we'll, we'll see this beautiful views. So I'm on high seat. Uh, I'm very late because it's only a, probably about 20 minutes or 30 minutes to sunset, as you can see. Um, there's Crossfell over there, Pennine Range, the Halgills. Wild Boar Fell, Swarth Fell, uh, Wernside, Ingleborough, Penny Ghent, and uh, Great Wernside over there. Right, I got to press on because I'm I need to pitch. I'm trying to find a pitch now, rapido, because I'm late. <clears throat> Nearly back at Gregory's Chapel, pushing it a bit late really. There's the sun going down over the Pennines. I'm back at Gre Gregory's Chapel, but the sun's going down as we speak. Morning all, it's the 22nd of June. It was the longest day yesterday. Uh, <laughs> Still haven't got my shoes on because uh, I got my socks wet last night. I think there's a big uh, drop off here actually. Ooh. Yeah. And there's not a sound. I think there's a big cliff here. Ooh, there is. Let's go over here. Yeah, there's about a hundred foot drop over there. And the sun is just beginning to rise over there. 
want to walk too in too far in my bare feet. It's not soft grass, but there's old rock about, of course. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a big drop off down there, Peter. Yeah. And there's the tent. Pitched really late last night. <laughs> because I just kept moving. <laughs> My socks are soaking wet still. Positively balmy this morning, nine degrees. Right, let's get the tent. Put away. There we go. We'll leave no trace, apart from a bit of flattened grass. Double check for pegs. No, we're all right. Swell fell under the cloud there, wild boar fell, Howgills, Eden Valley, Malastang Edge. How beautiful is that, eh? Wow. Right, we're off. Ah, get your sticks. Look at the map. Look at that for a pitch here. With that view, there's some good ones on top of this cliff edge. Oh, stang edge. Right, we're heading down the rigs. Uh, what are you doing, cheapy? I know it's a bit weird somebody being up here at this time, isn't it? that magnificent easily see the lakes you won't see it on the camera but you can see it in the distance the scarfells and great gable hello sweeties how are you doing how are you doing This is the top of the rigs. And I think this is Hellgill down here. Yeah, it is Hellgill. So what we're going to do is go down this track here along the rigs and drop down back into Hellgill Bridge. And I'll tell you what, that track down along the cliff edge is marvellous. Nice and firm, lots of nice pitches up there. Uh, better than that bog between uh, Gregory's Chapel and, and uh, High Seat. Anyway, going down here now. Come off that edge up there. You can see the cairn and then the Malastang edge. Look at that scenery. And uh, I'm down at a place called, pretty close to a place called Black Gutter, which sounds a bit foreboding. Anyway, I'm uh, not too far from uh, Hellgill Farm. I'm following a quad bike track down from, uh, from up on Malastang Edge. It's good in terms of clarity, but I wouldn't exactly call it easy going. However, it's better than the full on uh, tussocky grass. At least some of the grass is squashed, so it's a easier footing. Ah. 
That girl is not happy with me. He's trying to get my attention. Easy to twist an ankle on this stuff. Look at wild boar fell. This wild fell just clearing up. I can't say there's a, an abundance of paths up here apart from quad bike tracks, that's it. Wild boar, twelfth fell. Here's Gill Cottages, just down here. I can see a little red dot, which is my car. And there's only room for about three cars on a piece of verge across across from the uh, cottages. But usually you can get a place if you're early. And this is Hell Gill down here again. On the last bash now. Down at the uh, woods at uh, Hell Gill, uh, the paths all disappeared up there, just following sheep trods down and by the side of the woods now. And then at the bottom of this uh, woods is uh, Hell Gill Bridge. Uh, what epic views though, all morning. Oh, back to the style at Hell Gill Bridge. On the limestone band. Let's get her over here. Yeah. Listen to that sound. Hell Gill, look at that house. Looks like it's under construction. I don't know she be. Don't worry, look at that place. Oh my gosh, looks like it's a new build. Using old stone, probably. I had trouble with this on the way up. That's it, cracked it. Back over at bridge at bottom of Hell Gilt. Don't you just love that sound? Come from right up there on that edge, down various quad bike tracks, down past Hellgill Farm there, and uh, last right turn over this bridge, which is over a little Carlisle line. Yeah, there it is. I've only about 50 yards back to the car now.
last gate. Close the gate. Hello, hello beauty, hello beauty. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm back at the car at Daisyguild Cottages. And there's Wild Boar fell up there. Hat in. So, bag in. Back down at Ace Gill after bagging two Dale's 30s, Little Felt, which wasn't little, and uh, High Seat, which was high. <laughs> and then I pitched up overnight on the uh, cliff edge. Uh, quiet night, virtually no wind. Nice uh, sunrise and um, back down at Aysgill Cottages, there's only enough parking here for about three or three cars, four if you push it I think. Um, talk to some nice people at the cottages. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did uh, please give it a big thumbs up and uh, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.